Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. Doing a little bit different here on this video of an intro. Anyhow guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be working on planting some soybeans. But if you remember from yesterday's video, we started buying and hauling dairy farming equipment. Well, we now have it all hauled and stored away. So we got our swather and header here our chopper, our rake, our mixer wagon, our water trailer, bale trailer, tether, baler, uh, straw blower, and our tractor. And we need to drop the loader down on this. Whoops. Drop the loader on that. Um, so that's all sitting in this shed. And then if we open up the doors and walk outside here, Down over here, we've got our H&S chopper wagon. And then I also bought this three-point dozer blade to pack silage. But then as I got to thinking a little more, I remembered that these silos are supposed to be fermenting silos. Uh, I haven't messed with them yet. I'm going to mess with them on a test save game and just double check that they work. If they do work, then we can sell uh, this dozer blade as well as the um, the loader bucket for now anyways or maybe we'll just keep it around just to have uh, we got the gooseneck here if you remember we bought it in black but now I remember why this one is painted because it stays red it does not change color actually which kind of stinks but oh well uh, if we go in this shed here, we've got the blue diamond bale fork, as well as the international loader bucket. Uh, got those two things sitting there. So that is everything. So now we'll just kind of take a look at the barn here. So here is our main kind of door. We can turn on the lights. Um, both the barns are the same, so I'll just show the one. But, uh, yeah, very, very large barns are definitely really nice. And then if we open that up, shut the light off. So here we got our milking station. I don't think we can do anything on it. Yeah, I didn't think so, but. Then here, if we click, op uh, hold the left mouse button, we can actually open the skirting on both sides here I guess that's as far as it goes but we can open up the skirting and let in some fresh air so that's really cool I was actually the first time I looked at these dairy barns I looked at them and I was like oh man that'd be so cool if these actually opened and surprise they actually do I was touring the barn and I got a pleasant surprise to see that so we could leave the doors open and have that gate sit there, but then we can close the doors. Come on. So we'll close the doors on that barn, and then if we go, let's see, what is this? That might be slurry or something, or maybe that's where the water goes, I don't know. But uh, if we open this door, so we can open the animal dialogue from here. Uh, a cow is $5,649. So let's just take a look at what 20 of them would be. So 117,000. Or we could get 30 and that would be 175,500. So I think we'll maybe go with 30 of them. But uh, this is the unload slash load uh, spot there. And then we got the milk tanks. And uh, over here, we got a calf barn. Oh, I'm going too fast. Here is the uh, calf barn in here. Uh, evidently, his straw texture is missing. But uh, let's see. Same in this building. Light switch, and then opening the sides. But we're going to leave everything shut for now. 
And we are going to get started on planting some soybeans. So I got the uh, tractor filled up, ready to go. It's selected on soybeans. So we are going to go ahead and uh, start planting some soybeans. Turned it up to watch a YouTube video a little bit ago and forgot to turn it down. Uh, if you notice, I did take the date and time mod out. Uh, just it kind of was getting annoying on screenshots and stuff. And also for filming the new intro video, uh, I didn't want that sitting there, you know, on the video there or anything like that. So. So I just took it out. Um, I actually took out a couple of mods, or a couple of scripts, because uh, there was one that was just kind of getting, uh, you know, it was kind of nice, but it was getting annoying. I don't even remember what it was called now, but, yeah, so, I'll just work on some headland passes here, or some, I don't know, I guess opening up the field. But yeah, I did go ahead and fast forward time after I finished hauling equipment. And so now we are just ready to go. In fact, I think we can actually start, yes, we can start mowing hay now as well. So as soon as we finish up our planting, uh, we can start making some hay for our future dairy cattle. Uh, I want to start like now and make hay for as long as I can because that way we can have a large supply of it until next spring and actually in the forecast it's showing uh, see that's not rain I don't know if it's snow probably like some hail or something so that could be bad uh, oh well I'm thinking of it another thing that we were gonna that I wanted to get is different headers I wanted to get these ones from the 120 years pack uh, we're not gonna pick up the sunflower header yet we'll wait with that one until we actually need to use it um, and then we're gonna get the header trailer for the grain head as well because that's a little bit bigger than the other header that we had and the other one was a tight fit in most places as well. And uh, this one would be just a little bit worse. So we're just going to go ahead and have those delivered to the farm for us. A.K.A. reset. And uh, let's just run over here and take a look at the headers. So these ones kind of go, the color scheme of these kind of go a little better with the uh, combine that we're using. Uh, that combine has a fairly long auger on it so I'm not worried about it. You know, not being able to reach out the edges or anything like that. Uh, it'll have no problem whatsoever uh, reaching on those headers there. So. so we got that done now. So we should, uh, should be sitting pretty darn good for money here. Um, for the rest of the season. So this field shouldn't take too long to plant, nor should the uh, other one. And you know, I actually just remembered that I have not done any keeping up with this. With our info sheet. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and fix that. So this is planted. I guess we're not too far behind, but... So we're planting field 27 right now, I believe. Yes. Okay. I just thought about that, that I have not done anything on that sheet yet, so... I figured that I better, otherwise I will completely forget, and it'll never get done. All 
Right. So now we'll do a couple of passes down here on this end. We can either start mowing grass today, or we'll have to fast forward a day. But I think we can start right now. Let's just take a better look at this once. Yeah, the mowing season started right now. So then we can mow all the way through autumn. Or fall. Uh, so we'll be able to, to make plenty of hay. And we're going to have to do a cutting or two uh, to make into silage as well. And I completely forgot to do a headland down there. I guess we really don't need it. There's enough turning room on that end of the field. Uh, but we will need it up here on this other end. Because it is fairly narrow between the field and the telephone poles. And uh, the ditch as well, I guess. Uh, we're probably going to have to collect eggs again pretty soon. Let's see how many are there. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. There are 22 eggs in the coop. Yes, that's off. Okay. So... Might have to go pick those up sometime soon. I do have nine that I have picked up, uh, as you might have caught there in that uh, escape menu there, or in the menu, whatever you'd like to call it. Getting a little off course there. Alright, so yeah, planting is actually going by pretty fast, uh, a little bit faster than I kind of expected it to, uh, more so the row crops here, or the, you know, like the corn and the beans, uh, I kind of expected these to take a little bit longer because of the planter that we have, uh, I kind of figured that the wheat would go by pretty quick, but... I just wasn't sure how quick exactly. So every season I'll do crops just a little bit different. Um, except that I will always be doing either wheat or barley. Uh, either one or maybe even at times both uh, because we need the wheat or the barley for the straw so that way we have uh, straw that we can bale to give to the cattle because straw is something that you, know, you can go through quite a bit of uh, sometimes anyway sometimes not it just kind of depends on how fast the cattle a go through the food and B, uh, go through their bedding. But uh, grass is the thing that goes through the most of because you have to, on top of mixing it in to their feed, you also have to add it to their, uh, or also, you have to also feed it to them on its own. Same with like silage and stuff. So those things we need to make extra amounts of uh, but there's plenty of grass areas to cut on this map, so cutting them all, you know, two, three times, maybe even four, you know, as many times as we can uh, is definitely something to, something that is ne a necessity. You know, there's some ditches that can be cut. And many others that are pretty much impossible to cut. But uh, like 
I know there's one kind of grassy field um, at the dairy and then there is uh, the pasture here that the sheep would go in uh, if we can access that we can cut that because I mean we aren't getting sheep so we don't have to save it for them or anything but um yeah so we'll we'll definitely find lots of grass to cut uh, and if it just so happens that you know we're kind of you know we've cut everything that it's kind of possible to cut but it's just not cutting it you know so to say uh, we can go and plow up a field or even just cultivate it I guess well probably plow it just so that the yield it helps the yield but you know we can go plant plow cultivate and plant a field and turn it into a hay field and you know pick like a bigger field to do like maybe this uh, field 30 right over there uh, that we're kind of heading towards right now you know we could plant that one uh, that's a fairly decent sized field so we could plant that and use that for a hay field and um, but I think that we'll probably be able to get enough hay we might have to load some of the equipment up on the uh, trailer if we can you know things aside from the swather or else just drive the tractors and all that stuff everywhere but uh, we may have to load stuff up or drive it some distances cuz let's see here I know there's a big grass area there there's a big one there um, there's one over there by the energy plant right there there's a big grass area back in there uh, there's all this grass here that we can cut I know some of it's on a big hill and isn't possible to cut uh, and then there's all this stuff back in here too so we should be able to get enough hay uh, in theory but we'll just have to wait and find out until we cut it and then that'll tell us just how much hay we are going to get and what we're gonna have to do uh, if we don't so we'll figure it out eventually If we can't do something one way, we can most likely do it another. But uh, yeah, so we're going to get the majority of this field planted in this video, if not all of it. And uh, so hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to finish up the spring planting. And then we can get started on some haymaking. And uh, get some stuff made up for the cows for whenever we get them uh, when we do buy them we will hook onto the livestock trailer and travel all the way to town and load up with them um, I can't remember how many cows that trailer holds I think it's eight if I remember correctly pretty sure it's eight so maybe we'll just haul let's see if we were to do 30 cows, we'd have three full loads and then one that's about half full. Uh, or a little more than half full, I guess. But what we could do is we could just buy four loads of cows. Four full trailer loads of cows. Uh, it, that is if it holds eight, which I am pretty sure it does. I'm not 100%, but from what I remember, I'm pretty sure it was eight. Uh, I know I tested it out on Goldcrest uh, a few days ago, but I I kind of paid attention to how much it held, but then again I didn't. Like it wasn't close attention, so uh, I'm not 100% positive on what it holds.
So I think uh, when we do start making hay, we'll chop the first cutting just because it, you know, then it can sit in the fermenting silo longer. Um, you know, then while well, we do our second, third, you know, however many other cuttings we do, that stuff sitting in the fermenting silo, um, you know, cooking, so to say, I guess. Uh, you know, just becoming silage. And I'm pretty sure, you know, like I said, I am going to test it, but if it does work, you just dump the chaff into the back end of the silo. And then on the front, there's that little downspout. And uh, once there's silage in the silo, we can, you know, dump our straw and hay bales into the mixing wagon. And then just pull the mixing wagon underneath the spout and fill it up the rest of the way with silage so it'll be pretty easy that pretty easy that way now we're over halfway done with this field already so we should be able to finish it Definitely getting excited, uh, you could say. I'm glad that we're just about done with spring work, uh, for the most part anyways. Of course, we do have to, uh, well, I don't think we'll have any spraying to do this spring. Uh, let's just look at our growth chart. Yeah, everything's still in the first stage here, so we won't spray or fertilize we won't spray until this second growth stage here and then we'll spread on the third and spray on the fourth and then it'll be ready for harvest after that so because uh, I did some reading and I think it actually if we look it even says it here seasonal effects which one is it um, weather soil Maybe not. I thought it showed it in here, but I guess it doesn't. Alright, well, I guess it just doesn't really show it. But uh, I thought it... I know I read it somewhere that uh, your fertilizer only lasts one growth stage. So if we're going to do our three stages of fertilization, we have to make sure they're in the last three stages of growth before harvest um, to maximize our yield otherwise we'll just be blowing money and not getting any kind of gain from it which would not be fun in any way so Got a few more passes left on this field and then we'll be all set we should be able to start um, making hate in tomorrow's video 
uh, because if we're I mean this field's a little bit larger than field 25 and if we can get this field done in a video um, we should be more than likely to we're more than likely gonna be able to do the other field in a video as well because it's a little bit smaller uh, it's not like super much like a whole ton smaller let's look here it is so we're in 27 that is six acres so it's two acres smaller um, and we're still we still have about four minutes so um, and I'll off camera I will get that field started just so that just to make sure that we can at least start making some hay uh, in tomorrow's video and not like you know we plant that field and then we have like a minute left or something like that you know something crazy like that um, and then whatever we don't get done before the video is up well heck with it we'll just finish it we'll just finish the field because it's we're gonna be pretty close to finished with it by the time this timer goes off anyways so we might as well just finish it and get the planter refilled and then we'll call it a day uh, because I mean otherwise it would literally be just before we finish that the timer goes off anyways so it would only make sense that we do do it this way and otherwise it'd be kind of ridiculous I guess I did wash this tractor once well, we did that yesterday, I guess. Uh, now that I think about it. But you can't even tell anymore. It's fully dirty again. I think, actually, if we... Because I'm pretty sure this shows says like dirt amount or something like that I know it has in the past but it does not want to now of course so I'm thinking we got one or two passes left one pass for sure of course we might have to go back for a second pass to kind of clean up a little bit if we miss any but should be able to clean up the rest of this field or the majority of the rest of it in the next pass I did go and uh, start a save game on here where I'm not running seasons mod uh, so I'm just kinda combining all the pre-planted crops and let me tell you man is there a lot of corn on this map I guess you can you can see it from here you know aside from these few that we planted but I mean this is all corn here this is all corn this I don't think was corn before but it is now of course these were corn you know all of this corn and then there's a little bit of wheat there's a field of canola there or no is that canola yeah that's canola there's a few fields of soybeans you know this one these guys here uh there is one field of barley where is that field of barley at fields oh there's two fields fields five and six and there's a field of potatoes but the majority of it is corn it's crazy there is just like so much corn. I've already combined 100,000 liters of corn and I've only done a couple of fields. Of course, I'm working on, I started with these five here because I bought the combine, the grain cart, the truck and just started here and then I bought an auger and took it up to the farm or the first place that I'm going to start storing. And then I started and moved up here and I'm basically running all the way straight up and down and then I got these little ones and then I'll move over across the river and it's just kind of something because I've you know I haven't been combining at all really a whole lot um, 
Oh, we had to run out right there. Okay, I tell you what we'll do. We'll just hire a worker. Or, uh, uh-oh. Is the worker gonna hire? Or do I have that setting? Yep, I have to change that setting quick. First. Now we'll hire him. Just because it's going to be a little bit faster. Uh, I thought it would let me steer. It won't. Or like override the steering anyways. No, you have not. Oh, come on. There's just one little tiny piece there that it needs to pick up. See if we can turn it around this way and grab it. There we go. Now it will grab it. Perfect. Okay, now we can. Now we can go back and we can get this refilled and get uh, ready to plant the other field of soybeans. But that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some of the cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.